on, everybody, man? Happy Saturday, man. Glad to be here with y'all. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. This is the Saturday edition of uh, Nashville Caveman Podcast. I'm your host, Damon Leash. I want to go ahead and plug in a good friend of mine. He got a show on the 22nd at Rick Brunson's House of Comedy. There's going to be dining, drinks, and good laughs for um, great comedians, including a good friend of mine by the name of Ray Love. Also, you're going to have Ezra Storman, Chris Clough, and Christopher Royer. It's going to be hosted by Charlie Rosner. Again, that is Rick Brunson's House of Comedy, November 22nd. So if you're out in the, um, on the West Coast, Phoenix uh, area, make sure y'all go and check that out. Also, I want to show y'all this shirt that I'm wearing. This is Ancient Warriors, designed by my daughter. So I want to go ahead and plug in her stuff. You can go ahead and check out her merchant store. That's www.zazzle.com. Uh, forward slash driven underscore by underscore art. So make sure you guys check that in. Today, I want to go ahead. This is a weekend special. And I want to talk. The, the topic of the show is called Respect Men Respect. And what I mean by that is we get on the internet daily. And I, you know, it's for me, and we're used to it. We get on the internet. We're used to seeing females bash men. Rather, it's a female bashing their father or bashing a significant other or just bashing men in general, right? But I've seen this one. I was surfing on the web, and I came across this status that really got up under my skin, right? And why it got up under my skin this female was talking about how women are progressing. They're going to school, getting their degrees, you know, uh, getting involved with programs where they learn a skill or they're, you know, getting to the bag, buying homes, buying their own, you know, cars. And then they're looking for husbands and they're saying that the men can't match what they have going on. They're bums falling apart. Erectile dysfunction, you know, missing teeth, men, high blood pressure, living with their mama, you know, just don't have any money, broke, don't have no vehicles. And I, I just want to say this, ladies. Y'all need to tread lightly, okay? And first and foremost, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to show y'all a video where I say, you got, you, you ladies need to tread lightly. But I need y'all to remember this first. If you want better men, raise better men. We're going to leave it right there. If you want better men, raise better men. You know, some of y'all men, y'all are horrible when it comes to a judge of character. That's why y'all end up with the baby fathers or the father of y'all children that y'all end up with. Y'all just bad judges of character, first and foremost. Second of all, do this job. Make sure that your son don't turn into his father. Can you do that? You know, some of y'all men, and y'all don't understand this. Right now, the world is peaceful. Like, America hasn't had to deal with a major war in 50 years. And what I mean, a major war where you're losing, you know, tens of thousands of soldiers. We haven't had that kind of war in almost half a century. So some of y'all have gotten too comfortable beating down men, you know, slandering men. And y'all forget that a lot of men physically are already beat down. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of men do physical jobs that beat them down. They don't have, um, a lot of them don't work out. A lot of us don't work out the way, because I got to keep us. We are all one. So a lot of us don't work out like we used to. So if they gave us, 
you know, any kind of weapons and told us to go out on the battlefield, man, physically, we're not ready. The majority of Americans aren't ready, you know? And then you have the younger generation that are physically uh, fit to go off into war. They're not mentally ready. You don't believe me? You, you think these this generation that's physically fit to go into battle, I'm talking about my majority. We know there are a, a great handful of men that could do it, but let me show you what you ladies have been creating the last three decades. And I want y'all to watch this video and you tell me if you feel protected. So sit back and I'm as I roll this clip. So five years of rent-free living, free food, and no responsibilities versus being immediately obliterated by an AK-47 the moment I set foot on that battlefield. Do I look like somebody who the authorities are gonna be chasing after, hunting down, because they need me? They need me to grab an assault weapon and go try to like save people's lives? Are you kidding me? Talk about a liability. Go find those people who are so like pro Second Amendment and wear like freaking American flag thongs and all that shit. Like go find them. They have a concealed carry anyway. They know what they're doing. They've done a class. Is, you don't want me fighting for this country. I promise you that. And you know it's So think about that. This is the generation of men you ladies are creating, right? What they call this soft generation. Y'all even softening up our generation by beating them down mentally while they're getting beat down physically at work. This dude essentially saying that he'd rather go to prison for five years, get free food, free housing, clothing, don't have no worries in the world than to go ahead and fight for his own freedom or even yours. This is what you guys are creating. Both, both in the way that you raise men without fathers and the way that y'all beat men down slandering them every day they get online. Think about it. They got a job to treat them like things, squad. And then they go home. Some of them go home to no woman. And then they got to get beat down when they get on the internet. It don't matter what social media platform they get on. They got to get beat down, slander. And this is, if a war break out, this is what y'all think is going to protect y'all? Y'all think that other countries don't have weapons as advanced as we do? Because if it came to hand-to-hand -hand compact, you can't find enough soldiers to match up to probably what they're building in other countries. So when they say that we have the strongest military in the world, they're not talking about soldiers. Yes, we have great soldiers, but we don't have a whole bunch of them. They're talking about weapons, technology, because as I showed y'all in this video, do that look like a soldier to y'all? And you see more and more videos like this on platforms when you get on them daily. So I'm just saying that to say this, respect men respectfully, because eventually, you know, it will come back. The, that karma will come back. I mean, it did during COVID. A lot of y'all, man, y'all, you know, had to stay at home. And, you know, man, and y'all didn't have no helpmate. The all helpmate was the government. If the government quit sending out them checks, a lot of y'all would have been in trouble. Tell me I'm lying. And a lot of y'all think that it's still cool the put down men and bash men, y'all don't need a man, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's see how y'all hold that same energy when you 50, 60, when you sick and you don't have nobody there to watch over you. Oh, nah, some of y'all gonna put that burden on y'all children. That's why y'all don't need a man. Y'all gonna throw that back on y'all kids. That's why I say a lot of y'all selfish. But, I'm going to leave it at that. Respectfully, respect men.